Hello and welcome to Senior Class Visits 2020. I will be your host with the most, Dr. Keller. Over the next 10 to 15 minutes, we will cover everything senior related. So put on your seatbelts and here we go. Graduation requirements. The standard requirements for graduation are gonna be 24 credits passing the FSA and the Algebra 1 EOC. You will also need a 2.0 GPA in all courses. A 2.0 is a C average. Additionally, you will need 20 hours of community service. Your counselors. I will be Dr. Keller and I am listed at the bottom. The remainder of the alphabet is broken up between four counselors in addition to an ELL counselor. Letters A through D has Miss Ridings. She is a new addition to our counseling team. Last names E through K, Miss Loyacona. L through Q, Miss Calm. R through Z, Miss Wooden. And as mentioned earlier, ELL students, Miss Abramowitz. Your standard course requirements. This is going to be the 24 credits that are necessary. They are broken down into four English credits. One credit is a full year's worth of coursework. So four credits, four years. English, four credits. Math, four credits, including Algebra 1 and Geometry. Science, which includes Biology. Three Social Studies. Physical Education, which can either be the HOPE credit, which you can take through FLVS, or Personal Fitness and Team Sports, which will be taken at school. Performing or Fine Arts, one credit, and eight electives. Out of those 24 credits, one of those classes must be a virtual class. Grade point averages. 2.0 is all that is necessary for graduation purposes. That again is a C average. Although competitive universities will require a 3.5 or higher and most recalculate your GPA or HPA. College entrance exams. All college bound seniors should have either the SAT or ACT. The upcoming SAT will be on September 26th and the first available ACT will be October 24th. The difference between the two are that the SAT is scored out of a maximum 800 per section in the English and math sections and the ACT has four individual sections, verbal, math, reading, and science, scored out of 36. What are SAT twos? They are commonly referred to as subject area tests. They are one hour in length. Registration processes are the same as with the standard SAT. SAT twos are college specific, so please do your research and know if your college requires them. The next available SAT two test is on November 7th. Selecting your colleges. How do you do this? Well, we recommend that you select five to seven schools total. That includes match schools, reach schools, and safe schools. A match school is a school that your numbers align perfectly or pretty close to perfect with the school you intend to go to. Those numbers would be your GPA, your HPA, and your college entrance exam scores. A REACH school would be a school that the marks that they request are slightly higher than what you currently possess. And a safe school would be the opposite of that. Those would be schools that their numbers are slightly lower than what you currently have. College admissions criteria. There are certain things that all colleges are looking for. They are looking for academic achievements. That includes a rigorous course schedule, test scores as previously mentioned, GPA, HPA, and your personal statement. They are also requiring teacher recommendations and school counselor recommendations. They also want to see everything that you have done outside of the school day, including extracurricular accomplishments and leadership ability. Also, if you have any special talents, if you can create 40 different types of balloon animals, that is a special talent. Also, if you can play the oboe or anything of the like, special talents can stretch over a wide variety of categories. 
What you will see now is the 2019-20 SUS incoming class list. So although this is one year prior, the numbers are very similar. If we start at UF at the top, you will see a GPA number, SAT number, and ACT number. Those are the numbers for the incoming class for the year of 19. 20. The GPA is actually a weighted GPA. That's why the numbers eclipse 4.0. The SAT range was a 1340 to a 1470, ACT 30 to 33. That was the middle 50% of all the students that were awarded admittance into the university. There were still 25% of the students below those numbers, 25% above. These numbers by no means are a guarantee but they are a good range for you to try to acquire. If you can put yourself right in the middle, you stand yourself a good chance. Again, no guarantees. This is the private school matrix. We do have 20 private schools in the state, and this is slightly a more detailed listing. Application options. There are multiple ways to apply to a university. The two most popular are going to be a regular decision and early decision. Regular decision, typically November 1st, Florida State has adjusted their November 1st deadline and pushed it back one month to December 1st. Early decision is very different, usually due on November 1st. It is a binding decision. That means that if you do apply early decision, please make sure you are 100% committed to that idea because you must withdraw all other applications if you receive a response, a positive response in December. Community college. Community college in the state of Florida is a viable option. There is a two plus two program, which means that you would complete your first two years, freshman and sophomore year at the community college. Then you would transfer to a junior college junior year to a university of your choosing within the state. If you don't happen to have an SAT or ACT score, community college has you covered. They do offer the PERT test, which will mimic an SAT or ACT with a fee of $25. AA degree, that will be an associate's degree. So as mentioned previously, a student with an AA degree is guaranteed admission into the 12 public schools in the state. It is not guaranteed which school you will get into. It is solely based on space and your academic portfolio that you have created while you were in the community college. Please be aware that 51% of students who acquire a bachelor's degree first started a community college. We normally allow college reps to come to our school and visit with the students. It gives the students an opportunity to ask questions that are pressing to them. Find out admissions criteria, find out tips, what it takes to get in, what's there to eat on campus, and why should I choose your university as opposed to a different one? Since COVID has put a stymie on that system for this year, we have adopted a completely new idea. I will be meeting with all of the college reps individually. I will have an interview with them and I will ask some of the questions that are typically pressing for you to know. At the end of those interviews, I will also supply the contact information for each rep. Those interviews will be posted on my Google Classroom. So please visit often. There is the Google Classroom code. Keep in mind, nothing is posted as of yet, but that will change shortly. Things to avoid. Let's not let others make choices for you. The college process is a very unique choice that has to be founded on your needs and wants. Also, let's not procrastinate. You don't wanna wait too long with this one. You wanna be sure that you're on top of it early and thoroughly. And please do not be dissuaded from applying because you think you would not get in. 
oftentimes that type of thinking will keep you out. Apply and let's see what happens. Teacher recommendations. Many schools will need teacher recommendations. Please determine who you would like to ask and give them plenty of time to develop the perfect letter for you. Give teachers anything that will help them draft the perfect letter, including your resume or any other information that would help them along the way. Also, a please and thank you go very far in the process. Also, us counselors will need information if you would like us to write a letter of recommendation as well. On the Spanish River website, there is a brag sheet that you can fill out, and resumes are often handy. Please also be aware of when your deadlines are, and we will take care of the rest. Transcripts. Colleges will need to see what you have done academically, so they will need your transcript. Transcripts do take a little bit of time to get to the colleges, even if they're electronic. To request the transcript, you will need to complete the request form that is located on our website. There will be a small fee. I believe the fee is $3. You will, if you need to have the transcripts mailed to the college, please complete the process with the transcript request. Make a payment through School Cash Online. Submit that form and payment receipt with a stamped addressed envelope to the bin in the main office. Your transcripts will be mailed out promptly. Any electronic transcripts will go directly to the college. If you are an athlete, athletes must apply through the NCAA Clearinghouse or Play NAIA. On those websites, it will list all of the requirements and necessary steps for you to submit all of your information. You will need to submit your transcripts and test scores. Let's take a moment to talk about money. Bright Futures Scholarship. It opens on October 1st. There are two levels. There's the Florida Academic Scholars Award and the Florida Medallion Scholars Award. Starting at the bottom, the Florida Medallion Scholars will pay approximately 75% of the tuition minus fees. The requirements are 3.0 weighted GPA in just your core classes, an SAT score of 1210 or an ACT score of 25, 75 community service hours, and two years of the same foreign language. For the Florida Academic Scholars Award, which covers approximately 100% of the tuition minus fees, you will need a 3.5 weighted GPA in just your core classes, an SAT score of 1330, or an ACT score of 29. You will need 100 community service hours and a minimum of two years of the same foreign language. Scholarships. There are multiple ways to receive scholarships. You can receive them through the university, through a federal agency, or through private agencies. You, uh, university scholarships can are usually merit-based and federal may also be merit-based but oftentimes financially based and privates will be a combination of both you can look on our twitter and facebook for weekly scholarship bulletins the fafsa is the free application for federal student aid it also opens on october 1st everyone should complete it Although financially you may not be awarded money initially, in order to receive institutional aid, you must have a FAFSA on file. So it is visible for everyone to complete the FAFSA. Your senior year. This is a little bit of a breakdown of what should be accomplished your senior year. You'd wanna meet with your counselor and begin your applications. And as the year progresses, you're going to want to stay on top of these things, including taking the ACT, SAT, Some senior announcements. If you want to stay on top of all things senior, please hang out on our website. Or you can visit us on Twitter or through Facebook. Warning. Public service announcement. Senior iris may be hazardous to your educational health. 
please avoid it at all costs. Understand that colleges will request a final transcript. So just because you get in doesn't mean you should come off the gas pedal. Good luck, class of 2021. We'll be seeing each other soon. Bye-bye now.